Check out your Will the fans in Wichita witness PBA history? North Duke seeks three majors in a row as we begin the 50th season of PBA action. It all began in 1958 when Eddie Elias gathered a group of bowling's best to create the PBA. Jim McKay here back at Paramus, New Jersey, and one final version, the PBA National Invitation Bowling Tournament still up for grabs. Hurry up, he's got it. PBA's history has been defined by its characters and legends, but what separates them are the performances at the sport's major championships. Today's pros will need more than luck to secure a spot alongside the greats. Whether you're a living legend or a legend in the making, their performances in majors will define their place in history. The golden anniversary season of the PBA begins now on ESPN. Uh, I'm just going to give the money to my wife and I'm going to hug, uh, hug this trophy to death. The countryside of Kansas is serene and beautiful, but inside Wichita, Kansas, one of the great American bowling cities, the action is getting hot and heavy. We welcome you to ESPN's live coverage of the PBA World Championship. This the first of four majors this season. I'm Rob Stone, and we welcome you to the beginning of the 50th season of the PBA. And all season long, we're going to be celebrating the great talents and moments in this sport. But we're also going to use the golden anniversary season to spring forward. A new look for the PBA this season. New tournaments, new formats, new themes every single week from plastic balls to oil patterns to house shots. And we begin, conveniently enough, with a major and a chance for a major breakthrough for Norm Duke. He has the opportunity today to become the first PBA bowler to win three consecutive major tournaments. Joining me this season, again, a young man who won this tournament back in 1987 as a fresh-faced, middle hair parting, I believe necklace wearing, 24-year-old, 13-time tour titleist, Randy Peterson, back for his eighth year calling PBA action. I can never get enough of watching some of your old video, my friend. Good to be back with you here again. And we focus on today's main story, Norm Duke, looking for three majors in a row. H help us put this in perspective. Well, it's never been done in the history of the PBA. Uh, only a handful of players have ever won back-to-back -back majors. And when I won my major championship, when this tournament here, I had to beat three Hall of Famers. So it's a really difficult tournament to win. If you look at some of the names that have won this event over the years, the first name that comes to mind is Earl Anthony, who won this event six times. So the players that win this event, a lot of Hall of Famers, a lot of great champions, very difficult tournament to win. It was a difficult season for Norm Duke last year, really turned it around about the last month and a half by winning the last two majors. Yeah, and you know, when Norm was left for dead, he was outside of the exempt line. Norm Duke turns it around in one week in Indianapolis by winning this event. And then just a couple of weeks later in New Jersey, Norm Duke doing what only one other player has ever done, and that's capturing the Grand Slam. He wins his first U.S. Open, and he does it by making the tough bucket to spare the 10th frame and beat Mika Koivuniemi. Take a look at Norm's resume through the years, and uh, he is a no-brainer Hall of Famer. Led the tour in earnings last season and only bowled about half of the events. Well, Norm always has a big following on the road, but he may be matched and outdone today by local product Sean Rash, who grew up here, lives here, bowled for Wichita State University. He told us yesterday he thinks probably about half the crowd he will know personally. And let's not forget that Sean Rash is undefeated on television. 7-0 in his career on television, one win shy of tying George Branham III's record for most consecutive wins to start a career on television. Sean Rash to begin the 50th season of the PBA Tour.